everybody. My name is Tamika. I am at the Missouri City Library. Um, this is a program for an after school break. And what we're going to be doing today is making sock puppets. So here is an example of one I've already done. So first we're gonna go over the supplies that you need. All right, so the supplies you need, first ingredient is you need a sock. You need cardboard, felt, you need a glue gun, you, and then accessories you can to decorate the sock. Um, Pom-poms, googly eyes, yarn, pipe cleaner, and any other things that you might want to decorate the sock with. So now that we have all of our in a, supplies and ingredients that we want to do to make our sock puppet, we're going to make an oval for the mouth. So I'm just going to draw an oval. On the cardboard. And what I used was this thin type of cardboard. And as you can see, I did a light drawing of an oval. And we're gonna take these scissors, we're gonna cut them out. And we're gonna use this oval as the template also to cut an oval shape for our felt to cover the cardboard for the mouth. All right, so now we have our oval shape. Then we're gonna take our piece of felt, and I'm using blue. And I use, since this has an adhesive back, it has this brown covering, so it's easier to see for me to draw the shape of it. But if you don't have the kind with the adhesive back, just use like a Sharpie, a black Sharpie, and kind of go over it and make your, your shape in your felt. And I'm doing two pieces so that both the back and the front of the oval shape can be covered. So as you can see, I throw two ovals and then I'm gonna cut it out with my scissors. And you do wanna be safe while you're using the scissors. Don't have it too close to your face. Now, I have my two oval pieces. And if you don't have the felt with the adhesive back, you're going to use a hot glue um, gun to adhere the oval pieces to the cardboard. And parents, you might want to do this part because the glue is hot and we want everybody to be safe and not get burned. So, since this does have the adhesive piece, I'm just going to stick it on the front of my cardboard, turn it over. Stick the second piece. Onto my oval. And then I take the scissors and I cut it down just to get all the excess cardboard that you can see out or the excess um, felt. And to kind of clean up the shape. So now that we've got our oval shape cut, we're gonna grab our sock and we're gonna cut the mouth of the sock, which is the end of the sock. And we're gonna open it up so that we can insert our oval cardboard into that. So what I do is I just take a corner of it, snip a little, give me an opening, and then cut. And I just go along the shape of the sock. There you go, I've opened it up. And then you're gonna take this cardboard oval, you're gonna fold it in half, and then you're gonna insert this part into your sock. Then kinda let it open. You're gonna fold over the cut edges of the sock. And then this is where you use your glue gun again. You're going to Glue the edges of the mouth to the sock. You want to press down and hold. 
so that I can dry. I'm gonna press it down, hold it and press it down for a few seconds. Go around and do the rest of the edges. Okay, so when you completely glued it in, it should look like this. Okay, so now that we've got our mouth completed, we're gonna start adding the other parts of the puppet. So I usually start with the eyes, and I'm using pom-poms for this. So I just put a little glue on my pom-pom, and then I press it down to the side. You don't wanna to press too hard, because you don't want the glue to go into the bottom half of the sock but just a little, and then you can let it dry while I do the other one. Again, a little glue. Press it down to the side, okay? And then, once we do that part, you're gonna gap your googly eyes, or you can use buttons, um, either one, or any other thing you want to make eyes with. You can use smaller pom-poms, uh, such as this size, uh, but I'm gonna use googly eyes. I'm gonna use these yellow ones. So I'm going to take the hot glue gun and put it on my googly eyes. So put a little glue right there, and then I'm just going to press down onto the pom-pom, Put the googly eyes on there. So it should look like that. I'm gonna do the next one. And again, just want to take it, press it into the pom pom. There you go, so now you've made your eyes. And then from here, you can add other things. So I'm gonna give this one a button nose. And I'm just gonna spread the glue on the button. And then press down where I want the nose to go. I'm gonna put it right here. Let that dry. And it doesn't take long for the glue to dry from the glue gun, which is which is very good. Um, I also have some ears that I've already pre-cut. So we're gonna stick those right behind here. That one, okay. And so I'm just gonna take my glue gun, put it on the bottom of my ear shape, press it down and hold until it dries. other ear. Repeat the same thing. Glue on the bottom. And press and hold until it dries. And then I'm also going to use some pipe cleaner. So this is um, not the regular size of a pipe cleaner. I'm going to cut it down a little. We don't need that much. And then I'm going to curl it over just so it can kind of be like a little antenna. And then decide where I'm going to put them. So I want them 
right behind the eyes but before the ears. I'm going to add a little glue to the end of my pipe cleaner. Put it where I want it on the sock and hold it down. And let that sit there and dry for a minute. And then that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, you can add other things like more pom-poms, more googly eyes. Um, just depends on how you want your uh, puppet. If you're making like animals, you can add whiskers or hair, but it's all in your imagination. All right, so here's the finished product of our sock puppet. Isn't he cute? He's got his eyes and his antenna and his little ears, and he's just adorable. And this is just one example of a puppet you can make. Um, so that's all for our program. The next after school break will be Monday, December 14th, and Miss Danielle from University Branch Library, Library will be showing you how to make ice volcanoes. That's it. Bye.